right. Yes. She had the Tigers gear on. Going She's to pick set. up Royals gear. She's yeah. got all her hair covered. Yep. She just needs a little red for the Chiefs. The bases is covered. I'm nice, yeah. Aaron. I wonder if that's happening. I didn't happened even before. realize you yeah. said that. That was that's pretty smooth. That was good. <laughs> of course. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't even remember what I was going to say after that because that was such a great line. No, I don't know. Chiefs. Right. Somebody was yeah. saying something about Chiefs. Chiefs. You got red on because we do have that big game yeah, Sunday. And red Friday. We've got a big uh, Sunday. Not only is it Sunday night football, it's the Broncos. And Matt, you were saying one of the biggest games of the season here as we're heading towards Sunday night. So keeping a close eye on quickly changing conditions in terms of our weather in between now and that Chiefs game Sunday night. One of the reasons we'll see changes for today southerly winds. Yesterday at this time, the flag was moving the other direction with cold northerly winds. Today, strong southerly winds will bring in warmer conditions this afternoon. Warmer. I don't necessarily think it's going to be warm. Still chilly even through this afternoon. 36 degrees, that's our temperature, but our wind chill is in the 20s here in the city all across the board. We are very close to, if not just above, the freezing mark this morning. We have 31 in Chillicothe, 33 in Sedalia, 34 in Belton, 35 in Lawrence. But let me add in our winds and temperatures for many of us about 10 degrees cooler in terms of the way that it feels this morning when you factor in our winds and our wind chill this morning. And I think that's really telling of what we're going to see for today. The actual numbers across town may be in the 50s on your car thermometer, but probably you're still going to need that heavier coat, heavier jacket, at least as you're heading out and about to maybe do some shopping this afternoon. Clouds and radar, if you've got any holiday travel to do, we are in the clear. Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, up through Iowa, down through Oklahoma for today. As we are moving through your Black Friday, look at these temperatures. They got, and they look great on the surface with 55 for Leavenworth, 57 for Gardner and DeSoto towards the west side of the 435 loop, 54 for Smithville, 56 for Overland Park, middle 50s for Shawnee and Olathe this afternoon. East side of town we go from Liberty through Independence, middle 50s here, along with Blue Springs and Lee Summit, 56 degrees, our forecast high as we're heading into this afternoon. But again, worth a mention, it is going to be windy in addition to the warmer conditions for today with those gusty winds. I think it's still going to feel like it's in the 40s as we're moving through this afternoon, so I think you'll need those heavier coats from beginning to end as we are working through your Friday. Now, as we are moving through the next several days, we'll be talking about those temperatures quickly picking up across the area and temperatures climbing into the 60s here as we are heading into your Saturday. So any kind of holiday decorating you want to do outside, any holiday errands you want to run, Saturday is going to be spectacular in terms of what a little taste of spring for us. But as we're heading into Sunday, a cold front is going to work its way through the area. I think we'll be in the 50s as you're heading out to grab breakfast, move through church, any of the plans you have for the first half of the day. Warmer conditions expected, but then we'll be falling as we head into the afternoon. I think many of us may be in the 30s and 40s in terms of temperatures by Sunday afternoon. And by Monday, a high of only 30 degrees. Man, that's certainly going to feel cold compared to the weekend. Again, and as this colder air is moving through, clouds, kind of waves of them, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a brief light snow shower or flurry, but really that is it in terms of moisture chances here for the next five to seven days. Matt, over to you. 